Hello, let's uh, have a scientific look at the facts and the three factors which influence uh, temperatures and climate on Earth. Uh, unfortunately, the only factor uh, people have been talking about is the greenhouse gases, as if it were the only factor which influences the uh, rises of temperatures and melting of the polar ice caps. Uh, there are in fact three factors which influence the tertiary climate. First, the sun. Second, the greenhouse gases. And third, dust. Sun is the first factor. Since uh, we can do very little about uh, influencing solar activity, increasing or decreasing solar activity, uh, I won't waste much time on this factor. Uh, of course, uh, solar activity varies over decades and centuries and millennia and this variation in solar activity can influence change the climate. Uh, the second one is the greenhouse gases, which is the uh, most talked about subject. Greenhouse gases, CO2, methane and other greenhouse gases, uh, which are byproducts of uh, modern civilization, modern industry. Uh, the Skeptics deny that the that human activity has any influence on on the on the climate. But from a scientific point of view, one really has to admit uh, that these greenhouse gases have a major influence on climate. However, it's not the only influence. The third factor, which influences uh, terrestrial climate and tertiary temperatures, is dust or should I say uh, fine dust particulates on ashes in high levels of atmosphere. The best example of, this, uh, of the power of these uh, dust particles is, is the explosion or the, the eruption of the supervolcano Toba about uh, 70,000 years ago which threw thousands, thousands and millions of tons of uh, fine volcanic ash into this stratosphere. Uh, this, this eruption of supervolcano Toba on Sumatra has uh, has created a, created an ice age lasting a thousand years and has decreased uh, terrestrial temperatures by 16 degrees Celsius. Uh, apart from volcanoes, modern industry also produces dust and ashes which enter the atmosphere. Uh, most notable of these are modern aircraft. Uh, modern aircraft which fly at high uh, levels that usually around 10, 10 kilometers at a level of 10, 10 kilometers produce uh, also fine dust particulates and ashes as a byproduct of burning of fossil fuels. Uh, while the carbon dioxide produced by aircraft has certain influence on the terrestrial climate by, by adding to the amount of greenhouse gases, uh, the, the ashes and the dust particles left behind by the high-flying aircraft have a much more significant impact on the terrestrial climate. Uh, for example, uh, when, the, when all aircraft were grounded after the World Trade Center attacks in New York, uh, the temperatures in the United States have increased by about 2 degrees. Uh, to sum it up briefly, what makes sense? It doesn't make sense only to spend billions and billions of dollars or euros on decreasing the CO2 production uh, but it makes more sense to balance, balance the greenhouse gases against dust particles in the atmosphere. The warming effect of the greenhouse gases against the cooling and the dimming effect of the dust particles. This is much more practical and much cheaper way to control a terrestrial climate. Uh, I have patented 
uh, this process and you can uh, find more details about this on my website www.stopgreenhouse.com www.stopgreenhouse.com please visit the website thank you